So, hi, seventh grade artists. I want to give you a little bit more information um, about drawing these oval action figures and how to use them to make a correctly proportioned human. Now, I want to emphasize again that you are using the head as a measurement. So, your figure should be about seven heads, seven and a half heads tall or eight total. So one, two. The third, when you, here's about the, somewhere here's a, here's first, second, and the third head's here. This is the belly button. So you need to make that torso big enough. Also something that I've seen that people are struggling with is we need this circle for the neck. We need enough length there to make the neck. But we also, these circles, I see them getting uh, jammed up too close. These are shoulders, tops of shoulders. They need to come out further away from the, uh, the body. Pelvis area, uh, just a circle, but keep it almost as wide as the torso. Here's uh, the fourth head to about there. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and then another half or so. So really work to get those proportioned correctly. What I would like you to see you being able to do then is turn that into um, a figure that looks realistic. And some of the kids in class have had really good luck with that. I'm going to put this arm down so again we can kind of see how far it does hang down there. That the elbows, even with the belly button, but the hands hang down almost mid-thigh there. So when you are drawing this, keep those proportions in mind. Now I'm going to real quickly draw another one. This one I will do a side view, because um, I did that in class. So you still keep the proportions the same. However, since it's side view, your torso would look different from the side. Here would be the shoulder. There would be another shoulder on the other side. We wouldn't really see that through. When you're drawing these, don't press down hard. You want to eventually be able to kind of erase this and get rid of it. Okay, let's make a running figure. So I'm going to make a arm coming forward. Make sure that's long enough that it would go down to the belly button. Here's our, tor our pelvis area, torso and pelvis. Pelvis um, being also a little flatter oval this way, not as round as this one. Uh, we'll have one leg coming forward. Make sure that's long enough. And then one going back from the other side, stretching out like we're really running. And then the other arm might be back here, and we'd see it. We would see part of it. Now, when you go to take this to develop it with clothing, make it look like a live human being, um, keep in mind that this is the skeleton. You're not going to like trace right around this or it's going to look really skinny and kind of odd. Think of these as the bones. If you drew these skinny, which you should, um, but your flesh is going to make that arm thicker. And look at your arm, where it's thickest, usually at the wrist it gets thinner. Here's our hand. We'll make him kind of waving there. I'm not gonna draw every finger right now. Um, on the torso, Your torso, you know, it wouldn't come in. You wouldn't trace around this and go out. It would just come down like, and there would be our, our rear end and legs attached there. Keeping in mind that tops of the legs are thicker. The knee and then the calf is wider, but they usually narrow a bit to the ankle. So I want you to use that as a skeleton, not so much as... I mean, it, you're not, when you do the ovals, you're not drawing the actual shape of the body. You are just getting the form and using that to help you establish the pose that you're going for. So this one, again, this one would be, well, obviously there'd be a face there. You could make her hair kind of flying back. Neck, body, her arms. We would use that form again 
to create her arm, but think about, you know, how what's going to look right. Now, somebody that weighs more is a heavier person. They are going to look a little different. They're going to have more, whoops, more flesh on their bones. We also have a little more flesh on the back side of us here. And again, think of those legs and how they are actually shaped. Look in the mirror at your legs and see what they look like. So that's how you would use that to create a figure. And what I'd like you to do today for your finished project is draw a figure, use the whole length of your sketchbook. Try to make it almost as tall as the page is tall. I'm drawing sideways here. Um, another thing that I showed the kids in class that you could do, if you have the ability to print out a figure that you want to draw, you can work from that. And so you really see the layout there. One thing that can help you, now this may not show up real well because at school I have tracing paper, and this is copy paper, and you probably can't see through that at all. But if I put that up on a window, you'd be able to see it. And I can see it a little bit, but I'm going to kind of show you. I'm going to peek here. And I could put, I could draw an oval figure from this over top of it. Um, if you have tracing paper, it's a little easier, obviously. But you can get your proportions set before you try to actually draw it. So yeah, his arm is over here then, and his hand's out here. Uh, and we don't, yeah, I guess we do see this arm. And like I said, you can't see it, but I'm basically tracing my ovals over where I see his form. So now I have the form established. Get that where you can actually see it. I can go in and start to add the details of his batting helmet. You know, his face, he's looking to see if he's getting a home run. And I can start to make it look much more realistic. But I do have to keep in mind that this is just, this is just an outline. And what ultimately you want to be able to do is go back and erase all this on the inside. That's why you want to keep it light. Erase all that and be able to go in and, and you know, you, you could design clothes um, for this person. Maybe this person's wearing pants that come out a little farther. Yeah, so if you can get rid of, um, get rid of what you don't need and make it look kind of realistic, like if this were a guy in his shirt, his shirt might not be skin tight. It might come out here a little bit farther and tuck in to his pants or where his belt is. He might have short sleeves and a collar. So go for, we're going for trying to make this as realistic looking as we possibly can. So practice that. Don't use this particular pencil, but practice when you are drawing your, your oval figure, drawing really lightly and, and really getting the proportions correct. Now, I had a lot of people in class struggled with the shoulders. One thing I might consider doing, if you don't want to add, or if you feel like you're adding those wrong, you could do the head, do the neck, and then you can kind of do a hot dog this way for the shoulders. That, that shoulder width should be about three heads wide, so it needs to come out a ways to be accurate. Then you can do the torso and then hang the arms off the ends of that little hot dog. So, okay, I hope that clears some things up. I'd like you today to make the best drawing of the human being you can. And if you have time to finish it with color, that would be wonderful. Uh, I will see you next week and we will have other things to do. Please post this in the media album when you finish it. Thanks. Bye.